Hi, it's Yaya Han, and this video is all about making websites. I'm going to walk you through the four easy steps to building an affordable website, and guess what? You can do it on your own in as little as a day. Step one, brainstorming. This is kind of the basis, where you think about how your website should look and what kind of elements should be displayed where. Grab a pen and some paper and sketch it all out. Now, I want to point out that this doesn't have to look great and doesn't have to be perfect. It is simply a first scribble of your website and can be your guide along the way. You can also Google your favorite artists, musicians, and creators and check out their websites for inspiration. Note down any features and layouts you like and think about how they may apply to your own website. Step two, get a domain name. Now go and register a domain. Most of you already have a preferred social media moniker or handle, so evolve it into a domain name that you are confident will represent you well. Once you have a domain, you can always switch website providers and retain control over your brand and presence on the web. This is literally the most important step and might take you less than 10 minutes. Google Domains is a great option, but there are many other domain providers out there. Again, spend some time Googling and reading through articles that compare domain providers. You'll want to look for a provider that offers easy renewal system, safe payment methods, and has good reviews in general. Step three, decide on a website builder. There are so many ways to actually build a website, but for this video, I'm going to suggest a method that is great for creatives making their first website. I'm talking about generic website builders like Wix or Squarespace or WordPress. These builders are great for first-time website holders because they offer pre-made templates and easy input forms that resemble social media so you don't have to code anything from scratch. They can also take care of all the hosting and technical requirements so you can focus on the content. WordPress is free, but for the other builders, you may have to pay a monthly fee to get all the services. I find the pricing generally affordable and competitive, and I view it as an essential cost for my business. My website, yayahan.com, was built with Wix and is hosted by them as well. Another option is to center your website around a shopping cart system like Shopify or Big Cartel if your main goal is to sell products and build an e-commerce brand. The sheer number of templates that these website builders offer can be overwhelming, and this is where your wireframe can help you identify a template that works best for you. You can, of course, hire a web developer or designer and have them build your website on a hosting service of your choice. Whatever you do, I suggest doing extensive research and being very hands-on with the creation of your website so that you can maintain and update it on your own. Remember, you can always change your website layout and hosts as long as you hold on to your domain. Step four, add features and content. Once you have secured your domain and decided on the website builder, it is time to add all the features. Services like Wix have a huge database of widgets, integrations, and website features to add more excitement to your unique home base. Whether it is videos, moving slideshows, or animated photo galleries, you can configure your website in a myriad of ways. When it comes to adding content, you have complete freedom over what you want to share and in which format. If you feel overwhelmed by the idea of writing up a whole website worth of content, guess what? You can easily pull content from your social media posts to make up the basis of your website. For example, photos and videos you have selected for social media, captions you've written, event reports you've shared, all these are a great basis for filling up your website with content. I suggest copying and pasting captions into a Word document, then edit or expand upon them for your website. Catalog photos in folders as you upload them for easy organization and addition in the future. Collect all your videos in one section or integrate them into each individual project along with photos and write-ups. The possibilities are endless. Once the core of your website has been formed, it is time to go live. Make the launch of your website into an event, announce it on social media, and be sure to put your website in your profile link. In fact, a cool trick website owners can do is to create a unique URL page for their LinkedIn bio. Instead of using a third-party service like Linktree, my LinkedIn bio is a yayahan.com URL that directs visitors to my entire website. Going forward, you can simply create content for your website, convert that same content into social media posts, and use that to drive audiences back to your website. I hope I have shown you just how easy it is to make a website and how nice it will be to have a unique home base for all your content. 
Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and feel free to share any additional suggestions for first time website owners. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos about content creation. See you soon.